Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to set up Ryu Jinx on your Linux machine. If you want to do it on a different operating system such as Windows or Mac, I'll have separate videos covering that, so feel free to check that out. So Ryu Jinx, what is it? I'm sure you already know if you're watching this, but if you don't, it's a Nintendo Switch emulator, like I said, Nintendo Switch emulator, which allows you to play Nintendo Switch games on your Linux machine in this case. This video is not promoting or condoning piracy. It is for educational purposes. I physically own a Nintendo Switch and I physically own the game that I'll be using as well. So let's get into it. What you want to do is open up your browser, Google Ryu Jinx or go to ryujinx.org. Go to download and go to not the Windows link my bad go to the linux button right here you'll start downloading i'm going to cancel it because i've already got it downloaded so cancel that and next thing i'll recommend that you go to compatibility and in here you can see the state of a particular game so the one i'm testing is new super mario bros and if i click on it it shows me that it is status playable game loads and plays at a high frame rate which is very good not all games depending on when you actually set this up will play very well you know the later you know you the later on in time you set this up the more compatibility this emulator will have but this works very well another thing that i like to like about doing this is going inside of it not just checking if it's playable if you go in here i know super mario brothers and some other games have an issue where if you zoom over here if, I zoom, if you see it says handheld you can switch between docked and handheld mode that might not seem like that much of like an important thing but i've had some games if it's not in handheld mode there's just a black screen and no sound so that's also a good thing to note so you can actually see if you see in handheld or dock mode or if there's some other setting or system version so like this is 10.0.1 you can google what the minimum for super new super mario brothers is but you know it just gives you some extra information so let me zoom out so there's that the next thing you'll need is prod.keys and you can either get this of one of two ways either google it prod.keys Nintendo Switch download, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. I won't be providing that for you. You can just Google it or you can actually hack your own Nintendo Switch. Again, you feel free to Google, Google how to do that and get the production keys from that. That is what I did. And finally, you will need a game. You can either A, rip it from your hack Nintendo Switch or you can go ahead and just Google Nintendo Switch you know rom downloads again this video is not condoning piracy also in the description there will be a link to the discord group and feel free to ask any questions you have and we will help you out so that's all you need so we close this down if we open up the folder where you're downloaded to which is for downloads for me and we've got rejinx product keys game I forgot to show you this you also need the switch phone let's like you google switch firmware go to the darf sterny website i will provide a link to this in the description go to the archive.org download button you can use mega if you want to and you'll start downloading i'm going to cancel it because i've already got it downloaded so cancel and go back here you want to extract the reaging so right click extract to select feel free to extract it using whatever method that you prefer and you don't need to extract the firmware that will be installed as a zip file now in here go to publish go down to r and you want this reuging file right here if i try and double click it it just opens it up as like a text file we don't want that if you open up terminal either from here or you can you know search for it some other way so terminal and what you want to do is open this up so what we want to do is just do dot for slash, drag this on, click enter. I'm just dragging on like so. Okay, there we go. We don't need the dot for slash. My bad. You alone need that. If you CD to the 
to the directory and then do dot forward slash reujinx. So if key's not found, that's fine, we're gonna fix that. Go to OK, go to File, open reujinx folder, go to System, and in there is where you'll add your keys. Download product keys, paste that bad boy there. And that's that done. What you want to do now is close this down. Just reopen that command again. You'll relaunch it. As you can see, we do not have that error now. And now let's just do a little bit of setup. So first of all, you can go over to options and you can start games in full screen mode if you want to. And that's totally up to you. You can enter full screen at any time as well. Go to settings and in here, you want to add your game directory. So if I click add, and all my games are here, which is just the one. And I'll just click add like so. All my games will appear here when I apply and save it. So you can add multiple game directories, a great way of organizing, or you can manually just open an individual file. I'll show you how to do that as well. So in input, you can configure up to eight controllers. So if I go to let's say player one, configure, and pretty simple, you can select a particular input device, refresh you can change the controller type from a joy compare to left or right left and pro controller like so you can have different profiles you can add a profile or load one so the benefit of profiles you can have your buttons configured for different games and or different controllers as well which is pretty darn cool and if you want to change a button so if i wanted to change the z you click it if i want to change it to p click p and boom, done. Obviously make sure you click save. I'm going to just load the default profile. So it resets everything. And I'll create separate videos in the future of how to set up different physical controllers like a pair of Joy-Cons or Nintendo Switch Pro controller. And like other controllers like a PS4 controller as well. So just save it once you've configured it. You can configure multiple controllers in system. Just set the region to where you are. For me, I'm Europe. System language is British English. And for the time zone, just delete that. And then find your time zone. It should detect it automatically. If it doesn't, then just scroll down and find it. This is very useful because certain games can mess up if you don't have the correct region and time. I think Animal Crossing is one of them. Go to graphics. And make sure enable shader cache is enabled and anisotropic filtering let's set that to auto so anisotropic filtering just helps fix the issue when at the side of the screen when there's obscure angles some of the objects can get a bit blurry and distorted this helps fix that and for resolution scale feel free to experiment depending on how powerful your computer is you could potentially go to a 4x which is a really really high resolution beyond a 4k uh, but I'm going to leave it at native. Aspect ratio, again, I recommend leaving this as normal because this can cause issues with particular games. So click apply, save. As you can see, the game has appeared right there. If I right click it, you can, you know, update the game and, you know, manage DLC as well. So from here, you can also delete some of the cache if you want to because your cache the shaders and the PPTC. So that way the game doesn't take that long to load after you've loaded it for the first time and you can open up save directory as well you won't work at the moment because i haven't saved anything next if you want to launch a specific game and not just something from your directory go to file open application from file and you know you just select your file so if i want to open this just double click it firmware so not found oh my bad go make sure you go to tools because as you can see it says 0, 0.0.0 .0. You want to go to install, install a firmware from XCI or zip. So to install a firmware from a directory, you could potentially extract the firmware from your switch as well. So if I just do it from a zip and just select that, that's fine. Won't take long to install. It's very quick. Now, if I double click it, the game is now going to launch. So depending on how powerful your computer is, it, how long it takes to load up will vary. Plus, because I am 
recording the screen as well. It might take a little longer than it usually would. Plus on top of that, it, the game itself will vary as well. So it's just a waiting game now and just wait for the game to load. You can see everything that is actually happening in the terminal, but you can you know, maximize screen like here. So just waiting. So as you can see, it has now appeared. The game is loading. And it is going to go to the main menu momentarily. Okay, there we go. I've just got the audio turned off on my screen. It's a bit laggy and it's for the simple reason I'm recording the screen as well. So as you can see, VSync is enabled. We can change from handheld to docked. So it would appear that docked mode seems to work pretty well. It seems okay on Linux. I know on Windows, it seems to not work very well for some reason. So there is that. And I've just pressed you know, the left and right, or it was E and U on my keyboard and now I can move around and select a profile. So that's it. That's how you set up the Ryujin simulator on Linux to be able to play Nintendo Switch games. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message in Discord and me and the entire community will help almost 2,000 members now. There'll be a link to that in the description and there'll be links to everything else that we checked out. So I look forward to seeing you soon and enjoy emulating.